Joining me now to take up North Korea's latest missile test, the prospects of denuclearization now of the Korean Peninsula, Gordon Chang, columnist, author, senior fellow at the Gatestone Institute. Gordon, good to have you with us. This uh, timing of a summit, a first ever summit between Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un and tonight's firing of a tactical missile, a test firing, to be sure. Yeah, what Kim Jong-un is trying to do is put pressure on President Trump. And in addition to those two things that you mentioned, also there are reports that we're now seeing rail cars at the Yongbin nuclear facility. They're bringing in fissile material, it looks like. And so what they're trying to do is to say to President Trump, if you don't cave in to me, Kim Jong-un is saying, you know, we're going to ramp up the pressure. I think it's going to be a big mistake because I don't think they understand how this president works. But, you know, they're misjudging us. Uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it, it, frankly, it's stupefying. Uh, Kim Jong-un reported to be a smart fellow. He's met with this president twice. Uh, an ignoramus should know better uh, of this president than to think he could be intimidated by anyone under any circumstance. Uh, this is mindlessness, if that is the correct reading of Kim Jong-un and his motivations in launching a, a test uh, a firing, uh, this launch of a, a tactical missile and moving, uh, uh, well, we don't know what kind of fissile material, uh, uranium, plutonium, uh, into position, that would be madness. Well, you know, I think what the Kim is looking at, he's, he's seeing that President Trump has tried to have a generous policy since the middle of last May, and he's thinking he can push it A around. generous policy? I, I think it's been a generous policy okay. because what the president has been trying to do, and he said... Not in the Bush, uh, no, Obama, no. Uh, Clinton sense of generous. No, but what President Trump said at the Ottawa G7, which was just a few days before the historic June mm -hmm. summit in Singapore, President Trump said, I'm giving Kim a one-time shot to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And what our president has been trying to do is create this favorable environment so that Kim will feel secure enough to give up his weapons. What Kim is doing is he's misjudging our president. He's looking at the generosity and saying it's weakness. Trump is giving him a chance. Now, if he doesn't take that chance, I'm sure that uh, President Trump is going to bring down the weight of the United States on North Korea. And exactly what form would that take? At the same time, uh, North Korea, however one wants to characterize the state, it is a client, it is a proxy of communist China. Communist China has been hoping that they could preserve uh, blinders on the part of their negotiators as well as ours uh, as to issues of national security or national sovereignty, uh, to pretend that Venezuela doesn't exist, the South China Sea doesn't exist, uh, the theft of hundreds of billions of dollars of U.S. intellectual property and technology just doesn't happen every year. Uh, and now suddenly uh, they are watching an awakening uh, because of the absolute madness of Kim Jong-un. Well, you know, the Chinese have always tried to dangle cooperation on North Korea in order to get some other advantage from mm -hmm. the United States. In this case, it's obviously trade. But, you know, if you start to look at American policy, especially over the last six or seven months, it's been really hard-edged with regard to China. You know, with regard to Venezuela, the comments from Secretary of State Pompeo were really tough and really good on China. You see them were going after Huawei, the Chinese telecom equipment manufacturer. We're doing that across the board. Um, and we're starting to see, you know, revocation of visas for Chinese scholars who may be spying for China. And yeah. we're going to go after them on fentanyl as well. But again, this is a process that is removing the Confucius uh, Institutes. It's taking time. Uh, we still have thousands, literally thousands of students here who under the uh, thousand grains of sand uh, are without question uh, exploiting uh, their hosts, American academia. Uh, for uh, intellectual property, for technological secrets. Uh, this is taking a very long time, and it is amounting to uh, vast, vast treasures for communist China. Yes, but, you know, we've seen the administration act pretty quickly. I mean, once they made a decision, you know, if you go back to 2017, mm -hmm. Trump was pretty easy on Xi Jinping, again, trying to have this generous policy of can you work with the U.S.? When Xi Jinping didn't reciprocate, 
Trump brought the hammer down on the Chinese at the beginning of last year. And now we're going to see the no, same no. thing with regard to the North Koreans. Which yeah, is, don't, mis I, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. It's, it's not a suggestion in any way that the president is not doing the right thing, nor has uh, failed to act promptly uh, and uh, with, uh, with effect. Uh, he is, after all, the guy who's brought the 301s, has applied uh, tariffs, and as he puts it, he loves tariffs. Uh, the Chinese despise them. Uh, but the issue is, how fast is American academia reacting? How quickly is this big, broad nation of ours reacting to what is a clear and present danger to the United States? And the face of that danger is certainly, certainly the dragon. Yeah. Academia is not reacting at all. They're resisting what the United States administration is doing. Um, you know, we're starting to see, though, um, other parts of society are starting to move in response to what President Trump has been doing. And really more important, we've seen Europe and other countries um, start to actually uh, get tough on the Chinese as well. And they're taking their cue from Trump. And, and that's really The ones important. who are not, at this point, uh, signing contracts with Huawei. Well... Gordon, I, I take your point, and I, I, uh, I would like to say that in seeing glacial movement, I'm excited by response, uh, but at least, as you say, it's a response, uh, even if it is glacial. It's on better the part than of the European before. unions. Yeah, I, well, I, will, I will take that to my optimism classes. <laughs> I'm sure you, who thought that you would be my, uh, my, my tutor in optimism? Gordon Chang, as always, great to see you. Thanks, Lou. Thanks.